Hey guys, Ronnie here, producer of the Bits and Beats podcast. Um, nope, not not Jr. This time, um, yeah, Jr. could not make it this week. He is doing a string of shows um, and was unable to record the intro and outro for this week. Nonetheless, the show goes on. Please don't mind the white room I am currently in. I am not in a insane asylum currently, just in a new location that has not yet been decorated. So. Don't worry. So for the episode this week, we have Jeff Zenisek. Um, that's I'm pretty sure that's how you say his last name. Me personally, I had a great time on this episode. I laughed uh, from the beginning to end, but that's what I'm really good at doing on podcasts. So Jeff and uh, JR, they met a couple, maybe like six or seven years ago at a festival that turned out to be a scam. And we get a little bit more into that and what happened and how they met and how their beautiful friendship blossomed from this unfortunate event which turned out to be something great. So maybe we talk about that. And we also talk about Jeff's uh, podcast he currently runs called the Two Woke Boys Podcast. But you know what? You guys can hear more about that in this upcoming episode that you're about to hear. Before we get into it, I'd just like to let you know that JR is currently on tour. He has some upcoming dates in Chicago, Vegas, Houston, Hartford, Tampa, and Spokane. Spokane, I uh, believe, is in Washington. Um, yeah, so for the dates, make sure to check out his website, www.jrdeguzman.com. All the dates will be there. And podcast socials, Bits and Beats Pod. We're currently on Instagram, everything else. You every, you know where to go. If you are on social media, that's where we're at. And also subscribe if you're on YouTube. And if you're listening to this on a podcasting platform, we're also on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, we also stream the audio on all podcasting platforms. So before we get into it, I just like to say that nothing actually. So let's just get into it. All right. I don't sing. So here, here's the episode. Oh, dude, uh, it's gone, man. I, uh, full disclosure, haven't been outside yet today. That sucked. Oh, shit, uh, <laughs> I was outside a lot yesterday, though. I've yeah, been, I get uh, that. been playing some tennis, you know, getting out there summertime, you know. Yeah, man, you've been uh, you've been doing like tennis lessons and stuff, right? Yeah, a little bit. I've been teaching a few people. It's Sick. been kind of like snowballing. Like a bunch of people are like, "Hey, can you teach me too?" My friend's like kicking my ass now. I'm like, "All right." <laughs> it's like like once you make their your friend re- their friend really good, they want to get in on it. Yeah, which nice, is man. cool. I mean, you know, it, but like yeah, you're making you're making some making some money moves. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to How, i'm trying to make those money moves in comedy but you know the it's a struggle sometimes you know dude man tennis is the gateway into it let's just let's start right there all right <laughs> <laughs> um yeah man so you've been doing a lot of tennis stuff mm-hmm. and trying to make money moves in comedy what's like we we've, we've had a lot of conversations for anyone listening me you and ronnie especially because we're all here right now yeah. But, like, we've had a lot of conversations like, about, like, building, you know, building, like, our independent stuff and versus, like, the industry thing. Um, do you have any thoughts on, like, where you're at with that now as far as making money moves? Well, I feel like, you know, uh, I moved to L.A., like, uh, four or five years ago, and uh, that was, like, you know, I moved there bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with my you know hopes and dreams ready to get on tv and shit yeah and uh a lot of that didn't work out the way i planned so you know you have to make adjustments and stuff but um i don't know i made a lot of good connections and stuff and you know people like me and whatnot but uh hell yeah but then uh you know i've always wanted like i uh i was doing a podcast before um and then uh i mean i started doing podcasts in like 2012 and then um, I've been doing them kind of since, but I like didn't release a podcast for a long time. Then I started one in like 2015 and wasn't very consistent with it. And then got into um, the podcast I do now, mm-hmm. which that was even an accident. It's called. Dude, we uh, got We definitely got to talk about two woke boys on this because yeah, this was like an evolution of of your career. But also just yeah. yourself, I think. I've I've gotten to see you grow 
<laughs> from 2015, Jeff. We met at a comedy festival. And you know what? The, we talked about we don't care about what we say on this pod right now, right? So we did <laughs> oh, a comedy yeah. festival. It was basically a scam in New York City. Jeff and I both – it's a competition too. We both we both lost. Like we got eliminated. Yeah. And yet we met up in a consolation show called The Best of the Fest. Yeah, which, by the way, I found out later in that festival. So the, the, the whole festival was like the first round, you get two four-minute sets yeah. that they will judge you after the second one. I received Best of the Fest after my first set. <laughs> Which I was like, bro, I just fucking smashed it. Yeah, you just thought, what's like, okay. up, baby? I'm already in the best of the fest. Yeah. I can relax on the second what's up, one. New York, yeah. Then I find out. Then after doing my second set, I find out I did not even advance to the like quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. So I was eliminated in the first round. So I was like, uh, I thought I was in the best of the fest. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why man. would you put the bet? Like, why would you put the worst guys? on the all-star team you know <laughs> yeah 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 like <laughs> yeah so, best of the fest basically just meant like you lost yeah well i found that really out cool. cause, yeah because there was a facebook group that like all the comics were in that they were like communicating with each other mm -hmm. and then this other guy who got to the semifinals was like yo i got in the semifinals but i got invited to the best of the fest like you know i'm just trying to figure out what to do with like hotel situation or whatever i know and then uh that's the other thing the, like <laughs> For people who don't know, it's these festivals, it's not like they're putting you up or whatever. At this point in the game, we're flying ourselves out. We're paying yeah. for the hotel. We're paying to be in the festival mm -hmm. just to do like to tell like what, five minutes yeah, for, for exposure. <laughs> for exposure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I got none of because I got eliminated immediately. <laughs> but I was seen by industry, which yeah. industry means the open micer that ran the show that I was on. Yeah. So I just knew an open micer from a different state. Mm -hmm. So if I want to spend more money and go do shitty open mics in New York, now I got a connection, which yeah. is a guy that I will have to drive to New York from Florida, buy five beers <laughs> so I could perform, and then you know just hang out. In New and York. I, I do say like there are festivals that are good. You know, there's good. You just kind of like choose wisely but yeah jeff and i chose poorly but it worked out because we've been best of friends ever well, since. well yeah that one was for people that were less than five years in in comedy so that's true yes it's weird because we i thought at the time like oh because they're trying to like discover new people it's like no because yeah. like we're the ones who you can trick into <laughs> yeah. doing it once you've done There'd it the be, past yeah. five years you're like oh i know what that shit yeah is. you wouldn't do it unless you're the guy that like like you know gets there there's like a guy that got real far and you're like Huh. I met that guy four years ago and he told me back then he was doing it for eight years. So he's probably got a pretty good shot. Yeah. At this been <laughs> doing it less than five year Festival. comedy tournament. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, we met there and then kept hanging out and stuff. Um yeah, we but you didn't have butts. a two woke boys pod. Yeah, dude, we like we talk so much, bro. It's crazy to do on the Dude, Jeff you tried to call me an hour before the show <laughs> to talk, and I was like, "Dude, we can't do this." I know we're gonna blow. We're not gonna, blow we're not gonna it have anything to talk about. Yeah, it's like we're gonna Dude, blow our loads in this conversation. We we're gonna a have a killer sick, conversation. We had a sick pod yesterday that was not recorded, and it was just a phone call. Exactly. We've had just like three hour talks that are just pure friendship. There was there was like four things that I said that was like, "Clip that, put it out." <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> I was like, yeah you oh, always end it with like we'll be talking and we'll finish the call I'm like, all right dude thanks for talking to that like i really needed that you know yeah and then you'll always end it with like dude that would have been a dope pod <laughs> then, yeah then i plug my podcast <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah at the be. end of the call yeah <laughs> that's, how I, should, that's uh, how i do phone calls i'm like yo this weekend i'm in san diego <laughs> and they're like why are you telling me that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm trying to leave this call, Jeff. Yo, follow me on Instagram. They're like, I am. We're friends. Dude, I, Stop I already doing follow that. you, bro. <laughs> what do you What do you want? Yeah. Maybe we should Maybe we should do a, a set friendship song, dude. Oh, dude, hell yeah! Friendship song today. Um, well, we can like let's that. talk a little more. I don't know how much time that's been. I'm just like, dude. Whenever I talk to you, I'm just so stoked. It's like, I don't even feel like it's a part. I feel like it's another one of our Facetimes. Yeah, man. Well, this is a FaceTime, and then now there's 
another guy just here, <laughs> like also. In the it's a little, it's a little, a little different. different. A little it's different. like a, it's a threesome FaceTime. Yeah. So like you know we're comfortable, and if if Ronnie starts chiming in a little too much, Jr. might get jealous. So yeah. we have to be. I know. We have to be careful. Yeah. We got to give more love to each other to <laughs> to kind of keep our respect. Keep Nothing balance. against you, Ronnie. You're cool, but That's like we'll text are, later man. behind Jr's back. <laughs> yeah. And I'll say, look, I just didn't want it to get weird, but I really was. And I'll into ask, this. I'll ask Jeff about it later on. Like, hey, you didn't like, you didn't text Ronnie after that, did you? And then <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, no, and I'll be like, Ronnie, I told. Here's the yeah, story. We'll you got to yeah. tell him. Yeah. Yeah. You Don't have an fucking alibi? tell him. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare and what uh, look i'm gonna make a secret account and he's not gonna know about it and that's how we're gonna communicate yeah we go a long way for these friendships i guess mm -hmm. damn bro oh everybody's take a sip at the same time oh, yeah. <laughs> Co um, coffee have that feeling yeah coffee sesh, bro. <laughs> but uh no man it's been fun like having um ronnie and i have been like experimenting with this stuff a bunch so uh mm -hmm. we'll just get him in on our regular phone calls too yeah, dude. Can you three way on a uh, like a FaceTime? Can you do that? I think you can. I'll be yeah. there to yeah. laugh, and right. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be so sick. Yeah. I almost feel like you know we had this uh, fast thing earlier. You know, it was like this. We work with that. We work with that. That's a hot one, dude. That's a hot one. It's that's right. a hot okay. dude. That's got some. That's some up tempo shit, dude. All right, all right. It's it. <laughs> What's, I mean, that's cool. Like, yeah. What do you feel I'm, like it's I'm about, cool. Jeff? Let's let's like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of interview, and then I'll add some tracks and a little bit of interview. So like, what does that beat inspire you about? With okay, uh, with just friendship. Let's lay it and... down again. Let's lay it down again. All right, you want to hear it? All right. Um, yeah, yeah. We're in the studio. Hey, I'm gonna what? turn my. I'm gonna do the thing that DJs do. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold my. Okay. I'm gonna hold it instead of wearing it comfortably on my head, like yeah, yeah. a normal D. I don't know uh -huh. why they do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you kind of point to somebody too in the crowd. Yeah, for I like go, a yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna occasionally say my name, DJ Jay Z. Yeah, dude. Jeff Zenezek in the house. Explosion sounds during the song, ruining it for everybody. Yo, we, we got Jeff Zenezek in the house. <laughs> There's a part where the guitar actually is too quick. So this is the stuff we don't know what to do with. Yeah, yeah. the making the beat in between. So let's see. Let me hear this again. You can like slow down the guitar and make it match. Um, like you don't even have to like replay it. What I can do is, let me see. I can uh, copy and paste it. I, so I wonder if what I should do, like, yeah, like Ronnie said, is what we're figuring out still. Like share my screen, maybe. Uh huh. <laughs> nah. Maybe that's interesting for people. <laughs> that's a <laughs> logic YouTube tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yo, this is how you cut and paste. <laughs> Yo, clip it. <laughs> clip that shit. Put it out. All right, I figured yeah. this out. So nice. What do you? So what? What do you feel like it's about, Jeff? Like. I mean, I I like this friendship vibe we got going. I mean, on. we're we're feeling our friendship, dude. Yeah. And I I feel like it's about exploring the boundaries of friendship. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> like, are we friends <laughs> yeah. or are we something more? Dude, I you know? like that. And then and then it's yeah. like, are we adding a third friend in on this? Are we ready to yeah. spice is up our Yeah. Is he gonna friendship? watch or is he gonna join in on our <laughs> friendship? Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna watch. I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> It's like yeah. it's like we've reached the edge of like the the fullness of our friendship. Yeah, where the only way we can take it to the next level is go full gay. Is yeah, full gay. But we're we're like we're too like we're like reluctant. wanting to be straight. Yeah, we're yeah. too reluctant because we we like, we love puss, so we yeah. that would be gay if we fucked For each sure. other. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it can't be gay because we're both straight. <laughs> so so even if, if two fucked, straight guys fuck each other, that's he's not as gay. friends. We just yeah, we're just two buds that love to come, you know. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Not, let's see, let's do some of that. A... Let's see if we can do some of that. Two, three. We're just two buds who love to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, dude. <laughs> let's see. I don't know if I love that melody yet. Let's let's listen to it again. We just. I think it needs to start right away, right? It needs to start right at the bass. Yeah, you want to jump Come. right in to the gayness. Yeah, dude, it's that's what it, this is. There was no yeah. warm up right. Away. It was right yeah. into coming. Yeah, it's because to, it, because we're two two straight guys. We don't give a shit about foreplay. We don't got time for that. Dude, we got I, no only, time I do for foreplay shit. for the girl. Yeah, it's, it's never like, for me. Look, we know what we're here to do, so let's just get right into it. And that's we're what the song come. is all about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't need to hear about each other's day. Yeah. Okay. Dude, as much as I want to hear about your day, though, you know what I mean. I mean, we might talk about it after for a little bit. But if we're, we're here to come, we've come to come. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we're busy. We're busy adults with things to do. When just two guys who love to come, and that's why we're buds. <laughs> that's, that's such a. What a ridiculous friendship two guys would have. Like, how does that even come up? In a con like, you're at the grocery store at the park playing tennis, and you're like, hey, man, like, we play tennis all the time. Like, what do you, what other things are you into? Well, <laughs> I do oh. love jizzing. Oh, my God. No way, nice. dude. Me too. Dude, I fucking love jizzing. Holy man. shit. We should get together sometime. Yo, like, and jizz. What's, exchange contacts, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I've actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever, okay, this is like deep therapy territory, almost. Like mm -hmm. when I was a kid, uh, my dude, my dude bros would come over to my house. We'd watch porn, man. <laughs> Yeah. You ever, you guys I'm ever do worried that? about this, yeah. where this is going. Is that just me? Well, we never like Wait, fuck. What? I'm not going to like a bunch of kids fucking. Oh. That's not where the story. So you said you'd go to your dude's your dude's house. And they were coming to my house because I had HBO. Mm. So I was like the, uh, the softcore porn dealer, you know. Uh, okay, you were that. You were <laughs> like, that kid. Words you were spread the kid. around class, like yo, Jr's got HBO. Jr's got HBO. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, HBO. the kid with the premium channels was so like, oh, fuck. Yeah, How man. are you kidding me? I don't know if I was anything before that in my, oh, you know, like, who was I? It's yeah, it's a guy like, who studied, came to school to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's that kid. There's kid with ping pong table, mm -hmm. kid with cool Nerf guns, <laughs> kid with skateboard ramps at his house. I was all those kids, by the way. Were you? Uh, that's yeah, funny, like you're describing yourself multiple times. I'm just times. describing a kid with huge dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Totally, totally. Just do, everybody everybody, loved, everybody loved this dude, man. It's great. Everybody loved this guy. Had a huge dick and everybody knew it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we had a, I, I moved from uh, West Virginia to Florida when I was like 15. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when I moved, you know, I was like the new kid there, so I didn't know anybody. There was this one kid. There, was, like, I was kind of like quiet when I first moved there because I didn't know anybody, so I didn't know who to talk to or anything like that. But there was this one kid that was like super, like life of the party kind of guy. That was like, I, I guess like, kind he'd kind of bully people. Like he'd always threaten to slap everybody with his dick. Like that was his big joke. <laughs> wow, dude, he'd that's be like, such a yeah, specific. You, You'd make, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It like teachers just let him say it. Like they wouldn't be like, "Hey, uh, no." I mean, this was obviously. Wait, so like you're in? Pre you're in? Where was this? Virginia? We're, uh, no, we were. In, I was in Florida. Florida. And this Florida. was like, uh, yeah, ninth grade, pre Me Too. Yeah. You could just tell anybody of any gender. Yeah. When they say something dumb in class, hey, I'm gonna slap you with my dick. Mm -hmm. And it was. It's the good old I mean, days. I mean, I guess hilarious. But so then, uh, then that guy was gone for like weeks. <laughs> and then I was like, I wonder what happened to that guy. And then someone was like, you know how he always said that he was going to slap somebody with his dick? And we were like, yeah. He's like, well, he did do that. I'm like, nice. <laughs> so did he get expelled for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got, I don't know if he got expelled, but at least suspended. I'm going to be real. Like, if you can slap someone with your dick, like, it's pretty impressive a little bit, dude. Yeah. I would probably yeah, have to, like, you warm get up pretty a little close. bit. You gotta get pretty close. You gotta get pretty close. I mean, at least thirteen to fifteen inches away. <laughs> yeah, dude. From your experience, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean No, dude, I'm not if a I had I'm to a guest. Bro, I'm a grower, not a shower. So <laughs> yeah. so for me it's like I'd have to be hard to slap oh, you yeah. with my dick. <laughs> yeah. But that's even more aggressive. 
you know that's way, that's, a flaccid that's so slap, aggressive a flaccid dong slap is like funny but like a hard one is like kind of like assault yeah you know? it's not even it's kind, kind of because it's like, like you're hitting somebody with a blunt object <laughs> yeah at that point it's premeditated for sure. For sure. Yeah. It, yeah. It's also yeah. If you talk about that in court, they're like, "You, you thought about this? You <laughs> yeah. did a little bit of foreplay for this assault." <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, you had to. That would be the. That's so funny. Like the 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 defense would be like, "Well, it it wasn't fully hard, so technically it's yeah. not." You know, you got diagrams and everything. <laughs> yeah. They're like, there's like a chart of like how hard. They're like, well, it was like this, so you know, Dude, if it was best... like here. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about this podcast at a is Ronnie and I have to talk about like times like what looks so much of this is going to be unusable. So much of yeah. it. Unusable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of the notes are always like uh, vagina. Don't say that. Yeah. Slap, slap dick. Slap dick, this, that. Yeah. And it's like, well, there was one emotional part we had about friendship. So what do you think about the slap dick uh, section of the podcast? <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, if you've heard my podcast, I'm for sure getting canceled and there's yeah. no there's oh yeah let's no talk about your pod about a little it. bit man we yeah, got man. we kind of got the beat right let's listen to it one more time just two guys who love to come and that's why we're buds actually let's oh, slap yeah. a harmony onto this bad boy just okay. two guys just two guys who love to come and that's why we're buds and then what i'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna add some reverb on this bitch. This needs to be guys. a pilot. Yeah, like this yeah. is the show. Yeah, this is like the theme That's song the for Jeff and I's show. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. It starts out. It's like just two guys just got an apartment together. A complete basis of like, dude, I love jizzing. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Yeah, we keep we keep talking about getting chicks over and we never do. <laughs> You're like, yeah, dude, we're gonna get so much puss, and you're like, yeah. W so what's up with that? <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's just watch a movie on that this love good. seat I have. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's add some reverb on it. Let's see. Just two guys who love to come. I love that so much, dude. Yeah, dude. I That's like a this. hot one, dude. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Where's it gonna go from there? So basically, I mean. The thought is that after the episode, we can edit a full, like I can make a full song just based on the chorus. So we already have the mm -hmm. chorus, um, but if we want to add more stuff to it right now, we could. Nice. Okay. Do you like? It, do you always start from the chorus, or how's that? Is that I like, like working from the chorus personally because it's like the theme, you know. And then I now I know okay. what the verses are going to be about. It's about two buds who love to come. Okay. Nice. It's like it's like uh, when you make a YouTube video, you start by saying what you're gonna do in it. Exactly. You know, you're like, yeah. "Yo, on this video, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Yo, we're two guys on YouTube, and we're gonna come." Yep. <laughs> I want to watch this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Dude. Flagged immediately. This, <laughs> My channel has been taken down. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Like I talk, I so, talked to Ronnie about like I wonder how we could monetize this. Maybe we should do like a sponsorship. You know, we could get like Toyota to be behind this. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, there's no sponsorships like them who would want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could sell flashlights. Um, <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Flashlights and Blue Chew. Blue it really Chew. depends on like who follows Chew, the pod. Dude. You know, because like I, yeah. I think you know if you like it kind of depends on your like your fan base. Yeah, I, I think so far. Yeah. Wheel we could sell wheelchairs to the elderly. Yeah. I don't think a lot of elderly are gonna be listening to this. Yeah, you don't know that, Jeff. <laughs> I don't Old think like they're to into come. two dudes that like to come. Yeah, well yeah. just two guys who love to come. <laughs> and that's why we're buds. Yeah. Here, maybe the next verse is uh I think the next verse could be this. <clears throat> Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> nice, nice. Nah, that doesn't yeah. work. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. What does it? Let's see. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> that could work, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Ronnie, could you get a graphic <laughs> of something from Two Woke Boys? I don't know how okay. they would find it. What, on Instagram or TikTok? Or just if you Google it, maybe. But um, be something out there. Yeah, because yeah, that way we can, we can look at, uh, we can talk about the pod. Um, yeah, Jeff, like talk about two woke boys a little bit. 
Okay, so I'll explain how we kind of started it because I feel like that's kind of an interesting story. Like we, um, so me and uh, Malcolm Kellner, the the other comedian that I do the podcast with, yeah, uh, he's a great guy. Check him out. It's it's uh, such a great podcast, and there's not. I don't think I've seen any other podcasts like it. Like especially when you guys started it, and I listened to it, I was like, dude, it was amazing. Yeah, man. Thanks, dude. Um, well, it, like that's the thing. It, like, wasn't originally going to actually be a podcast. So, like. We were uh, trying to film a couple of uh, clips as yeah. these two male feminist characters. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, these guys are total scumbags and they're just basically like pretending to be feminist for puss, you know? Which kind of so, exists out there. Oh, there are some guys. Like that. It's only what? that. Like, I don't know about only that. There are some no, guys. It, for sure. <laughs> I've never met a male feminist that was not doing that to get well we've had this cool. conversation where i'll always we'll go into this conversation and i'll preface it i'm like yeah but like you know i do i do respect women and they you know they should have rights and then we yeah. go into our conversation about it of course we'll yeah, put that yeah, as yeah. the disclaimer we both respect but women. that's that's women the trick that you use to get the chick to <laughs> you know <laughs> okay. that's what you're supposed to say sure i care about you and then yeah. you you know yeah, yeah. And then they're like, oh, really? You're not like the other guys. And you're like, yeah, I'm definitely not yeah. exactly like every other guy. So, yeah. And this isn't us talking anymore. This is Chris and Cole. Let's switch it over to that. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Okay, so. Uh, when, um, yeah, which clip is this? Or is this just a, this is just a shot? Where did you find this, Ronnie? Uh, oh, it's just a picture. Yeah, yeah. I just Googled uh, two guys that like to come. Mm. And that popped up. <laughs> yeah, so like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. When you go, this is this the just two guys who love to go. <laughs> that, yeah. that should be our theme song. <laughs> Dude, I'll, 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 I got to mix and master it, and it's coming right at yeah. you. We actually used the theme from, uh, or the, uh, you know, that fight song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forget the artist's name. Can we play it on here? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if we yeah, play yeah, yeah. 0. 0.7 milliseconds, we're fine. Yeah. Licensing wise. Yeah, I didn't want to play it too much, but yeah, it's so, uh, it's fight song. Uh that song actually was used by uh Hillary Clinton as her campaign song. Bro, that's it's such a powerful song. So it's many It's such a powerful you know, like girl boss anthem. Dude. Yeah, like a bunch of, you know, it's been the anthem for women going through breast cancer, women fought, talking about mm -hmm. empowerment, and you guys have used it in this way. Yeah, because <laughs> well, we we are empowering women. <laughs> You know, and that's what our podcast is all about. We are the number one podcast yeah. for women and women's issues. I love that you guys were <laughs> setting up your apartment to hold a safe space for women to come by and, you know, also like let out, feel sexually empowered and everything. Yeah. So Two Woke Boys, like, um, what is the latest? And uh, you, I mean, you've, I don't know how much you want to talk about stuff, but you've gotten some. Oh, the, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've been yeah, I'll, get, I'll get into that. Do you want it? So, so we start. Yeah, yeah. We started the okay. So we started the podcast as like a. It wasn't a podcast. We were just going to make some clips of a fake podcast, to sh like so there were like essentially sketches, that are you know us in character as these two woke male feminist guys, uh, making a podcast. You yeah, know, where we're constantly like begging women to sleep with us, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was like the whole idea, you know, where it's like, you know, we're nakedly like trying to get puss when we're like barely hiding it, you know, yeah. with our wokeism. But then um, but then after we, we shared a couple of those clips, uh, a couple of people like reached out and they were like, hey, where's the full podcast? Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's not it's not a. Thing. Yeah, you were doing it as a satirical hey. sketch of two guys making a podcast yeah. to get puss. And then people were like, we were, where can we find this yeah. full pod? Yeah, yeah. We were making fun of podcasts that would be hosted by this these kind of guys. And that like people were like, we want that podcast. So it's amazing. That happened a couple of times. Then uh then I told Malcolm, I was like, dude, like let's because normally we'd have a couple of topics and we'd be like, All right, we're gonna talk about this and then you know different things and we'd like kind of like improv it yeah and we'd be like all right cut you said that funny this and then i'll i'll lead you into that and then we'll say a couple of you know things instead we were like let's just do it one straight take get all these topics out and then like try to stop after like 
I don't know, 25 to 30 minutes. That was the original like idea of the podcast. And then the first episode was like an hour and 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll go into some musical storytelling. Dude. Can you tell us like why women, well, I have reverb on now. All right. Why should women be polyamorous, Jeff? Like, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, you know, cause look, polyamory is great for women. Because, and it's not that it's great for men, you know, to just, fuck all kinds of women with no strings attached or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's not, not what you're, that's not what you're that. saying at all, dude. No, we're not saying That's that. not what you're it's saying. It's not an added benefit of it. No. What it is, it allows you to be sexually free, you know? You won't be tied down by some guy who wants to, you know, take care of you forever and pay for everything. And That's not what it's about. You know, maybe marry you and mm -hmm. provide for you and your family. Yeah. We're not here for that. So you're like, so... <laughs> you're here so why are you here i mean we're here for emotional and physical healing oh, you know we're gonna that, heal you. yeah oh, we're that's gonna right feel you. that's right we, we, yeah we'll, we'll feel you and we'll you know maybe we'll yeah we'll put our our hand on your back and like mm -hmm. listen to you mm -hmm. tell tell us about yeah like list actively listen girls are always yeah we actively we listen active listeners like every time you say something and you're like see me kind of daydreaming while my hand is just above mm -hmm. where your ass kind of curves back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you see me kind of drifting off with my mind you go are you listening and i go yeah i am hell yeah and then i'll say like the last three words you said <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll be like, okay, but it doesn't feel like you're listening. I'm like, I'm listening so hard. Yeah, can we practice that a little bit? Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Today I just had a really hard day, Jeff. And I just like, you know, I'm, I'm a preschool teacher and my my husband, because you said that you were cool with me having a husband, um, just doesn't like really take me out as much as he used to anymore. Jeff, are you even paying attention? Yeah, that's awesome, babe. Anyway. <laughs> Ever do that you ever say the wrong like if <laughs> someone's like hey are you listening and you go fuck yeah dude that rules and they're like i just told you my cat died and you're like oh uh. <laughs> i mean it rules that like you know the the circle of life uh you know it's, it's real. a circle and like yeah. it, your dead cat that, yeah that is sad i acknowledge that but like the circle is going to start when you get a new cat mm -hmm. you know like, what the fuck are you talking so about? it's not sad and why, it's just and why about do you keep perspective. Cur cur you're just caressing this weird part where oh, my back yeah. meets the my butt. The hand's never leaving. Yeah. The hand is further south. Yeah, you're you're like literally in my ass cheek right now. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I got a finger in there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> are you are you are you sure you're listening to anything that yeah. I'm? Yeah. Look, and and then she'll be like, "Are you are you fingering me right now?" I'm like, "Yes." Look, I'm yeah. I'm connecting. We're connecting. Right <laughs> it's like Avatar. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and if we're fully connected at the genitals, mm -hmm. that's how I listen the best. That's the bond. You know? Yeah. Dude, I'm so glad that we made an Avatar reference today. <laughs> it's been a while since they've gotten Truly. a shout out. It's the movie with the blue people, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah for sure. It's nice. basically Pocahontas, but with blue aliens. Really? Mm -hmm. I never saw it. The guy couldn't what? walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah the guy couldn't movie. walk. So it's like Pocahontas, but with a guy who couldn't walk too. Okay. I don't even, yeah. It's like the Why Matrix. were they blue? Why? Uh, okay. That's a good question. I don't, they were, I don't know. Why, why did they, they need to be blue? I think because then it wouldn't be offensive. It's like, no, this isn't <laughs> a commentary on anything. It's just blue people. Uh, okay. So it's like, like uh, Doug. You remember yeah. that show? Yeah, there was like this kid is so obviously black this kid's so obviously hispanic yeah the, all the Asian. green people all the green people were black and yeah. the purple people were jews is that what it was <laughs> yeah like, this yeah. sounds very, like you read a very specific article yeah. Jeff. Uh, <laughs> no dude yeah it's i, I feel like know. that's like kind of widely known yeah because yeah. uh the you know doug's neighbors the dinks <laughs> i forget i forget dinks that's a, yeah mr dink he's the dude what he was the guy next door like orange? he was huh Were they, what no okay go ahead he was the guy next door and he was like this big purple guy and he was always like talking about how expensive all of his shit was <laughs> and they had all this money because they had no kids and oh, dink God. stands for dual income no kids 
No. Is that actually? I swear to God, and his character, you know, huge nose on his character. You know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 awesome. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, I didn't yeah, draw it. For sure don't cancel me. Don't None come at me. Also, he's purple, all, so don't, you know, yeah. what? No, we can't use any of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's just like what, you know. No, I'm, that we're going to use great. all of it. I always do say this I'm, is I'm like down. a show that people will look back on to see, like, where you can get canceled. It's on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be like, why is Jeff Zinisek not on SNL? Yeah, yeah. Like, you'll have an audition, you'll get in, your face wow. will be on the um, the what, the article, the press release, and then two yeah. weeks later, podcast revealed where Jeff hates Jews on Doug. <laughs> I, did, I didn't say I hated him. No, 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 no. He said it. <laughs> SNL. He straight up said it. Yeah. And they made a yeah. song. <laughs> and we made a song yeah. about it. I'm going to rewrite a yeah. song, and Ronnie's going to edit it in. Yeah. Jeff. Hates Jews, and it's happy. Yeah. It's kind of a happy song, like great R- ringtone right there. And Jeff <laughs> hates the Jews. Do, 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 yeah, do, do, do. yeah, dude, that's that shit was great. Yeah, Holocaust wasn't real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get enough sound bites to get you canceled. Yeah. You know, what else? What else can we throw in? <laughs> no, I agree with yeah. you, Jeff. The Holocaust wasn't real. Yeah, I did. You I brought never it said up. That. I remember you brought it up. <laughs> Yeah. Not real for sure. No, man. Jews are cool. We love Jews. This is a, <laughs> a very, yeah, this is a Jewish positive podcast. I ha- Dude, know. I actually really, really love Jews. I'm not like trying to make up for everything we just said. I, uh, yeah. in college, <laughs> I like mainly dated Jewish girls and all of my friends were like Jewish and I've always found that they've been very intelligent and funny. So, yeah. But Jeff, Jeff, I- the one who started the anti Jew stuff. <laughs> no i uh i didn't really know that many until i moved out here in la you know? mm-hmm. well you yeah. were in florida well i thought in florida there are jews in florida i used to play tennis at this like jewish club really Sick. um yeah it was like the the jewish community alliance or something like that yeah um i played tennis down there i played tennis down there a few times Sick. um yeah but uh but yeah like i never really saw that many so you're ambivalent towards the jews is what you're saying you don't you don't don't hate the jews what does ambivalent mean you don't love them you have no feeling towards them at all uh yeah well i just didn't really know much about their culture this will be the section where we try to get someone canceled yeah Yeah. let's do this this is the 10 minutes where we try to cancel jeff you need an intro yeah get some intro music be like you're about to say something fucked up like we're gonna back you into a corner yeah, yeah. with questions. Let's see what we got. We got Funky Loop. Is that something to get? You're about to get canceled. <laughs> Jeff's gonna get canceled. You're gonna get canceled. Try to answer this one, Jeff. How do you feel about the Jews, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the right. <laughs> Yeah, the explosion. Yeah, probably well, not the okay, best. Okay, so that's how you feel about the Jews, Jeff? Probably not the best sound. Sorry, everybody. I'm, I through. apologize. How dare you? There we go. Yeah, there you go. Greta has there a lot go. to say about that, yeah, Jeff. Greta. <laughs> Greta's our queen. You just Greta. got canceled. <laughs> Your career's over, Jeff. Say bye to SNL. It's the yeah. end for Jeff. I like that did you make that beat too no no i it's uh royalty free because i can't afford it nice i can't afford cool. some real beats on here um oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> we should just have different so that's the <laughs> that's the canceling segment jeff i feel like the whole podcast has been the canceling segment but that's my fault because I, I always no, say it's me too dude shit like that it's me too no it's okay i mean it's like I, I mean just i don't know it's the podcast thing i do you know that's where i'm at <laughs> maybe we can do some musical storytelling that's another segment we have on here Okay. We just got to find a topic. And I would ask about dating stuff, but I know that's a hard thing because, you know, we got anonymity and all this stuff and we got private <laughs> lives and, you know. That's right, dude. <laughs> but um, yeah. how about how about like um, any like dates that you've been on that have been weird or memorable that you are comfortable sharing and it's like you can still protect the anonymity of this person? um you, are you comfortable sharing okay. that yeah i'll get i'll get into uh yeah yeah i uh i kind of was like jumping around in relationships for a little bit hell yeah like i'd get in another relationship immediately after ending another one mm-hmm. you know which was not good Mm-mm. and then uh 
I don't know. I've been, uh, I've been since then. I've been trying to like be by myself for the last like year and a half or so. Working and, on uh, yourself. So I'm gonna jump in every once in a while, Jeff. No, it's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then, uh, you know, uh, trying trying to stay single has been good. But then, um, I kind of learned after this date I went on with this girl that like my boundaries like weren't good. Mm. Like, I would just kind of, like, be like, yeah, sure, whatever you want, until, like, it, everything sucks for me, you know? Sure. Then I'm, like, secret. Then I hate myself, and I hate you for, you know, Damn, this taking is, advantage This is, like, really deep, whatever. actually, with the music. I like it. Yeah, so... Yeah. So I, I meet this chick on Bumble. Um, she's cute, you know? Uh, you know, we, uh, we have good banter back and forth, and it's, like, fun and easy. And then, uh, then we talk about meeting up at a bar and she's like, yeah, let's meet at a bar. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is cool. This like, seems like so much easier and like easy and fun, you know, like good conversation. The banter's fun. She's cute, whatever. And then, uh, she's like, after that, like, we're like, all right, let's meet in person at a bar. She gives me this, like, like this long text about like, look. I go on a lot of first dates. I don't go on a lot of second dates because I know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a relationship. And I need you to know, like, in coming into this date, the intention that you are going to date me and that we are going to be in a relationship. And I'm like, uh, what? Wow. wow. <laughs> like, yeah. How, can we just, like, meet first? <laughs> yeah. Like, Jesus, dude. I was like, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't make any promises, but yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's like that's crazy, right? Yeah, oh, for sure. So yeah. You, Wait, if what? If you meet someone, this is, how far into this is before the knowing first each other date? was this? Oh, it was before yes. the first date. Okay. Yes, this is before the first date. She's like, I'm going. We're going on a first. Like it was like, it was like I said I was gonna like sign an agreement, and then she just threw me the fucking iTunes terms of services you know <laughs> and i was like why is it so long and she's like just sign it all right yeah <laughs> i feel like i should read this <laughs> yeah yeah I'm like i, I it's kind of long i don't want to read it and now i'm kind of just like whatever <laughs> but uh you know so that's definitely weird so yeah yeah so yeah i know so it was like uh you know i told her i, I was like i can't make any promises but you know I mean, it's been fun chatting with you before so like yeah let's meet so then Dude, um, first of all that's still how guys are you see a major red flag and you're like yeah i'll still go girls are like yeah. this guy's gonna murder me but we're like oh, i might get some put i mean flags are always you know it's fun we, we've talked about this yeah. one red flag that's bad like six red flags i need to see a that's couple. a theme park dude yeah, it's six, six flags, baby. Uh, yeah, six flags is what I'm looking for. Yeah, because it's a fun time. It's a roller coaster ride. It's a fun six time, six and it is a roller coaster. Yeah, let's go. Wee! You know, I see, I'm like, all right, we got five. We're about to go on a pretty fun ride here yeah. for a couple of months. <laughs> they just want to go. Home. Jeff, he loves them red yeah. flags. Yeah. Uh, let's. Yeah. The saga continues. Okay, so where are we at with this? Uh, so. So then we, we uh, agree to meet at this bar. We then go to the bar. And then the moment I see her at the bar, I realize that she is significantly fatter than I thought she was going to be. Significantly? Wow. Like, yeah, she, like, I realize I have been catfish. Gotcha. You know, which isn't like. That's, a, why, you, that's you know, why you had to promise, like, a number of dates before you go. She was like, when you meet me, you're yeah. going to give me at least, like, four dates, right? Yeah. Well, here's my thing. I like kind of like, I kind of learned that like, when she said all that stuff, I assumed that she was like, I'm so selective. I don't choose to go on second dates with guys. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe not that this woman is such a nightmare that no one would ever want to go on a second date. Gotcha. Okay. That So it was like, so I just, I didn't even assume that. And then, um, it's like those you know, scams I, where it's like, Oh yeah, you have to buy ten up front. It's like, right? Can I just buy one? Like, no, 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 no. That's not how we do it. Because once you get the product, you're gonna realize you don't want this product. But 
Yeah. Okay. But so now you got ten of them. So you and now you're technically a distributor <laughs> yeah. of products. Yeah. Now you have to. The only way this is a good deal for you is if you now work for this company, and you get ten <laughs> yeah. people to work under you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you so yeah. you went on the date and you realized you got catfish. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, yeah. And then I I realized like all of her pictures on Bumble were only of her face, which was cute. She had a cute face, but. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, significantly overweight, okay. uh, which is fine if, you know, but I'll I look, love that description. I care about my health, you know? So like I, I you exercise a lot. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't like, it's probably not going to work out. Sure. You know? Jeff, it's purely for health reasons. Yeah. Oh, you got yourself. That. that was great. That's great to watch. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, we love body positivity, which actually that's a, that's a subject we've been covering in the podcast because some women who are technically body positive in certain areas of their body are being discriminated against. Not we're cool. trying to help those women. So if you're a woman that's body positive in your tits or ass area, <laughs> please hit us up, <laughs> hit up the two woke boys. Okay, so you met so you met up with this girl. How's the first date? So we met, I meet up with the girl, and it's in this small bar, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, I went into a minor key right here because it's getting dark, you know. Yeah, it, it gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, we go into the bar, and then the girl is like, just she's also not fun. She's like, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna sit through the day. We'll have fun, whatever. And I just like, I'm not gonna continue after this date, but. Uh -huh. But that also makes me mad because you're not like some people want to say, yeah. hey, you're a jerk for saying like this lady's like kind of fat. So I don't want to date her when you meet. But this one, this person lied in their bio. Yeah, we don't they like liars. Not, That's what you're saying. You just don't they like did liars. not accurately represent who they are, which is a waste of my time. You know, I would not have agreed to go there this is turning into if, a motivational speech like in a lot <laughs> of like well, i'm just saying it's like it's not it's not cool so now if i go to the date and go hey you're not what i thought you were and then i just leave now i'm a i'm a jerk yeah you know and i gotta be a jerk in person which i don't want to be yeah, you're so now guy. i gotta buy a bunch of drinks for this lady that i'm like i don't want to hang out with this lady fuck this yeah. lady yeah but anyway the so minor then, key um, changes everything yeah. yeah. So then, <laughs> so then, uh, so we have a couple of drinks and we're chatting and stuff. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of like, uh, not having that much fun. And then dude, this, this lady is like telling people at the bar that we're on the first date and it's a small bar. Okay. Ugh. So I'm sorry. we go I to the bar to get a drink, like, you know, telling everyone, Hey, we're on this date. We're on this over, date. Like, over sharing you just met. big you time. Just met. Third day. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting out of here. Like, I don't want to be here. And then, so she's like, she goes to the bar, bartender. She's like, hey, we're on a, we're on a first date, Bumble, you know? And then the, the bartender guy looks at me like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll make the drinks. And then she's like, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. And then the guy gives me the drinks and he goes, hey man, don't worry about it. I'm like, fuck yeah dude you rule gives me free drinks because he's legend. like bro you got catfish dude <laughs> yeah he actually said that on my he side just, he just sensed yeah so what well, no he he when she was bragging about the date then i mean she dude she catfished me she was like look at the look at what i caught you know yeah, gotcha. it's like the picture when you see guys holding the fish up that was you yeah i'm the fish dude <laughs> look at this idiot big, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big fucking dumb fish, you know. Yeah. And you know, so she's like telling the bartender, and then there was this, uh, there was like this uh, group of uh, big black ladies having a party there, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know they were they were getting pretty rowdy over here in the corner, and then um, so you know after a couple of drinks, and this lady is like wolfing down like drinks and she's like calling me a pussy because i'm not drinking that much you know i'm like yeah. i don't want to 
die. And she's like, what, you a pussy? Then she like hits me in my arm really hard. <laughs> and I'm like, that like hurts. And she's like, well, you can't handle it. I'm like, we kind of like weigh the same. So yeah. like it hurts. Like just the way the, We're in the, the same weight physics, class. It's like, you got a lot of weight class. The force. Yeah. 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 I'm six seven and two hundred and twenty pounds, and you're five six and the same. So it's <laughs> yeah. So you're like literally just so, being assaulted. It hurts, yeah. Legally, so I'm like, ow, in stop the same hitting me. Class, it's assault. Yeah. So then, um, and, yeah, and she was she was like, yeah, that's. I always hated that when like someone would be like, hey, hey and like punch you in your arm, and you're like, dude, you can just high five me. Like, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't have to be like that. So then, um. Yeah, so then then uh, after a couple of drinks, like, you know, I'm getting pretty drunk and then she's, you know, getting loose and then uh, telling the, uh, the the big black ladies that we're on a date also. So now everybody at the bar knows. Everybody at the bar and the, the big black ladies are pretty loud about it. They're like, you better treat, you better treat her right. <laughs> like screaming at me across the bar. And I'm like, God damn it. This sucks. You're just caught up in this whole episode Give now. me the fuck out the of, middle of here, it, yeah. dude. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got an early morning the next day, which I actually did. It wasn't just a lie. So, um, you know, and like, I'm like, oh man, after a couple of years, I'm like, I gotta, hey, I gotta go home. Like, you know, and she's like, where are you parked? I'm like, uh, outside, I, you know, and she's like, oh, I like Uber here. I'm like, okay. So you probably just take one of those home then, I guess. <laughs> Oh, nice. like they're still doing that now that was a couple hours ago probably won't be the same guy but it'll be a different guy which maybe you guys will hit it off i don't know maybe try that guy out <laughs> maybe that'll be your first date on the way back to wherever the fuck you live you know and then she's like she's like are you okay to drive i'm like yeah yeah i'm fine and then she's like just like kind of following me to my car and i'm like uh okay and then she's like gets in my car and i'm like no i, you let it go I like far, wasn't dude. saying no. i do that i know i wasn't saying no and i'm like oh my god please and so then we go we go uh then she like i'm like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go now and uh i was like and she's like well i'll, I'll come up and i'm like i have to go please then she's like she's like well i have to go to the bathroom i'm like fine so she comes over uses my bathroom now she's in my apartment the moment she comes into my apartment starts going through my oh, refrigerator God. doesn't that doesn't ask just goes in starts digging so you're in like, you got assaulted and now you're being robbed dude that's what's happening War warms up my leftovers that i was going to eat for the next morning <laughs> before i had to go to my softball thing it's like just crushing my half-eaten meatballs <laughs> like why are you she was like, oh. I was like, I have a roommate. That could have been my roommates, you know? And, uh, yeah, it was the fucking worst. And, uh, she did end up sleeping over and it was the worst night ever of my life. And, uh, yeah. The fact that you uh, didn't get that far. <laughs> well, yeah, that is, dude, I stopped. I didn't, I dated no one for like four months out. I didn't even talk to a girl for like four or five months after that because I was like, yeah, I got to something's wrong with me because i just let that girl like just bully me the whole day this whole story was basically like just this is like therapy for you bro you've went through a lot mm -hmm. it sounds like yeah wow. yeah i do feel a lot better you feel better but uh yeah well i mean i i you know i feel like i grew i grew past that i've, I've been stronger about like a boundary yeah you have like, we've we've talked about like you have better boundaries now and like like it sounds like you're you're a nice guy so this girl kept sort of getting you to the next thing because you're a nice dude. Yeah. Got to like they, yeah. They, you got got, dude. Yeah, dude. I got got so hard. And then, oh, I forgot about this. Uh, like, I didn't message her again after that. Yeah. And then, um, like, a week later, she sent me, like, a fucking long <laughs> message that long about what a dick I am. <laughs> She was like, <laughs> yeah. you're such an asshole. And I was like, what? And then it was like, boom, like, you know, you're such an asshole. Boom, long message after that. Like, you you ghosted me. And you don't have the common decency to, you know, I talked to my friends at work about you and told them that yeah. you sucked. And you're and I'm like, 
It sounds like she just what? has like I mean, a person like that has for sure boundary issues. You don't, you know. Yeah. And uh But she told everybody at work about me too. Like and then uh, you know, and they were like, Oh, well, like then they all agreed with me. It's like, yeah, they have to, or you're gonna be a nightmare to them. So like, why would they why would they take the side with the guy that's never gonna show up at work? Yeah. The only reason I would show up at work is if I was dating her and that is not happening. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh it sounds like she's good so, at what she does. Yeah, though. so then I mean with like the manipulation. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah. All the way to the apartment at the end of the night. And you knew you didn't want to even be there at the beginning. It's kind of yeah, crazy. Dude, it was, it was tough, man. But, I remember, but I then, remember when um, you told me about this oh. first happening and we were yeah, both, dude. Okay. And full that disclosure, your growth. Yeah. Full disclosure. I have a uh, bumble premium, which means I can see who like matches me yeah. and stuff. And it's like, you know, I can see that now. That girl has matched me again. Oh, so she, like she tried so to, it's not over. she tried to swipe right on me again. Yeah. Ooh. Like after calling me a dickhead and I suck and all that. And like, did you match her? You know. No. <laughs> God, is she no. still in, is she still in the Holy line? Shit. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's you on left there. it there. Yeah. yeah match I don't her want to match her. Right now, bro. <laughs> For the pod, dude. No. We'll get her on the Come pod. on. No. Are we really friends if you don't do this? You know what I mean? Oh, my God. You match it yeah. for the pod. The, is This podcast is now jackass. We get, yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, this dude, is just in a second. This crazy. is me ruining my life. <laughs> just two guys who love to go. Yeah, dude. That's what this is, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was a nightmare. Oh, gosh. But, yeah. But... It, it, I feel like um, dating wise, you've uh, you've grown a lot through that experience. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, don't know. I feel like I'm. <laughs> yeah. As in, as no, and like a... I left that pretty vague because I want to let you just fill in the blank. But I mean, I what I mean was that like that hasn't happened to you since then. No. No. There, there's been people that like. I kind of like shut out that were like kind of not great for me that I feel like we're kind of not not like that girl but you know yeah. like kind of encroaching on me in a way that you know I don't know I feel like as you get as you get older you have to like kind of evaluate your relationships yeah. and go like is this relationship like valuable for me and like my sure my my thing you know cuz it's like yeah. You know, you know that thing where it's like, if the plane is about to crash, they have those masks that come down. They're like, put yours on first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so, you know, totally. You've so been take, taking care. Give of a shit about you first. first. Yeah. You got to care about yourself before anybody else. Which sounds selfish, but you know, you're gonna die without an oxygen mask while you're trying to. Yeah. <laughs> put everybody else's on. So. No, I think it's good. And I think we we it's like, it's sort of when you're evaluating your relationships, it's like, I always ask myself, does this relationship add to my life or take away? And if it takes away, mm -hmm. then it's okay, well don't need to keep it. And if it adds and we're mm -hmm. both adding to each other's lives, it's good. Yeah. And, and some of it, like some of that stuff is like pretty easy to do because it's like, maybe it's like a person that's like, you're treating more like a close friend. That's actually more of an acquaintance. Like you're doing all the things mm -hmm. that are like, keeping that person close and then if you just don't text them for a while you'll just never talk to them until you text them yeah again, you know or and then and if they if that person sees the value in your relationship they will reach out to you yeah yeah and and it that the two you know then yeah yeah exactly so i i had a conversation about that about about that with my buddy and uh from florida and he was it was pretty funny because he's so like He's just so dry about stuff mm -hmm. and he's like yeah i like had to evaluate my relationship so i like just on on purpose like didn't talk to my friends and just saw who like <laughs> reached out <laughs> like jesus wow christ man like really and actively he was like, shut everybody out yeah he's like a serial killer <laughs> and like he's like oh i'm just like he's got like a notepad out and he's like kevin sucks yeah <laughs> not a good were dude. you one of the guys that reached out yeah yeah i i talk to him all the time we uh we hang out like we even like i i try to keep my friendship with him up by uh you know 
I've known him since I was like 14 or 15 and we used to skateboard and play video games like all the time. He lived down the street from me. Um, and, uh, we're super close and now we just play video games every time we hang out and that's about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, he has like four kids and I don't even really know their names. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. That's, that's one of those things about like male relationships. Like I would like when I was dating a girl, like, you know, I'd be like, Hey, uh, I'm going to like play video games with my buddy Colby and, you know, catch up with him and see how he's doing and stuff. And really it's just like i'm gonna play call of duty for four hours mm -hmm. that's what yeah male relationships really is. like it, it there can be so surface level and it's like you're the it's your nothing. best buds it's yeah it's like it also we cannot talk for six months mm -hmm. and then like randomly six months later i'll be like hey can you play Fortnite <laughs> on wednesday and he'll be like yeah man and it'll be like hey this is great like this is so cool that yeah I'd go back and, you know, with the girl I was seeing at the time, and she'd be like, "So how's how's your buddy?" And I'd be like, "I, I don't know." You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, what do you mean you don't? Yeah, know? what do you, what did you just guys hung do? out with him for four hours? Yeah, she's like, "Well, what?" Seems to like, be doing pretty good. How's his How's his wife? I'm like, I don't know. It didn't come up. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, "How's his kids?" I'm like, I don't know. I think he has four now. <laughs> he's pretty. He's good, really man. good at Call of like... Duty, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly it. And she's like, "Well, what'd you guys talk about?" I'm like, "Well, we were talking about how much it sucks that 11 year olds are kicking the shit out of us all the time. That <laughs> kind of sucks." You're on TikTok as mm. at Jeff Zenisek. Jeff Zenisek, and um, follow my podcast, Two Woke Boys. Two Woke Boys. T -O -O. And that's T O O. Yes. Woke Boys. And uh, all right, man. Well, we'll close off with just the theme song one more time. Thanks for joining, Jeff. I love having you. Love you as a, a person, and I'm glad we had you as a guest. Oh, thanks, man. I uh, love you too, bro. You're the best. That's a great segue into this. Just two guys who love to go, and that's why we're buds. Cheers, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Nice. All right, man. We'll have a good day. All right. Such a such a great episode. I literally recorded the intro and then watched the whole episode again and then i'm now recording the outro so i'm i'm on the same page as everyone who just listened to that you know so i honestly i, I feel so alone right now i usually just say nothing or say a couple words as jr smoothly and swiftly takes us in and out an episode and now it's just me nervously sweating in front of all of his followers Anyway, remember to please follow the podcast. We're on all podcasting platforms, streaming audio. We're on YouTube at JR's YouTube channel. We are on every Monday with a new episode. And remember, JR is currently on tour, so you can see him live, get in his face, get all, get all intimate with him. His more recent upcoming dates will be in Chicago, Vegas, Houston, Hartford, Tampa, and Spokane. For the specific dates, check out his website, jrdeguzman.com. Yeah, so I'm alone. We've been uh, ending, fading out to a point of conversation that we feel must be addressed. Uh, sometimes I don't feel like we should, but I do have something I want to talk about. And it's about hugging your cousins, but, you know, hugging your cousins a little bit longer than, let's say, traditionally the right amount of time is. And that's not something that I feel should be like you should be weird about because I think that hugging your cousin for a couple more seconds just lets them know that